Yeah, Vicky, Coach Dean told us tonight that UAH was one of the toughest teams he's had to prepare for, and really it was back and forth until the end. Bellerman was down by nine at the half, but rallied to actually come back and win by nine. Now their fans are looking for another national championship. Kevin Brinkman will tell you he bleeds Bellarmine. Absolutely. Scarlet and silver is in my veins. Brinkman was just one of the thousands of BU fans who packed the Bank of Kentucky Center to watch the Knights in Elite Eight action. The fact that we sent six busloads of people up here speaks volumes of the fact that we are a community. Bellarmine took on Alabama Huntsville, a top ranked team that didn't let up. The Knights couldn't even get a lead until after eight minutes of the first half. Then the game stayed tight and oftentimes tense. Bellerman would trail by nine in the first half, but a rally followed in the second. Lots of great ball movement, always getting good shots, and they seem to come up with great defensive stops every time they need one. BU got up by as much as 10. Free throws would soon seal it. That stretch late was just incredible. I was really impressed. They mastered playing possession by possession, just staying in the moment. That was an incredible performance on the basketball court. Now fans want another win and another national championship. We definitely have a chance of winning it all again, and we're going to, too. Championship, baby. That's all we settle for now, championship. I could not be more proud to represent a fan base than that group that filled this place up tonight. That is big time right there. And on a side note, starter Keiston Jones actually got put out of this game early tonight with a knee injury. Coach says he likely will not play in tomorrow night's game. That game will be against Alabama school Montevallo. Tip off is at 930 tomorrow night. Of course, we will be here with complete coverage live from Highland Heights this evening. I'm Daniel Kemp to be OK. News.